Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa probability of union of two events. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Sige na mga grade 10 at nire-rush ko tong videos para sa inyo. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang formula sa pag-solve ng probability ng union of two events. Now, kapag ang event o yung dalawang event mo ay may intersection, eto ang gagamitin mong formula. Pag sinabing may intersection, meron silang parehong element, ha? You have to add the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability ng intersection nila. Okay, ulit. Pag meron silang same element. Okay, may common element sila. Now, kapag naman wala silang common element, mas madali. Kasi you just have to have the probability of A plus the probability of B. Yun lang yung pagkuha ng union nila. Okay, sige, let's have an example ha. Paano ba natin ma-identify yan? For number one, a bowl, a bowl contains 15 chips numbered 1 to 5. If a chip is drawn randomly from the bowl, what is the probability that it is 9 or 15? Okay, so meron tayong dalawang events dito ha. Yung event na siya ay 9 at yung event na siya ay 15. O, let's check. Ano-ano ba yung mga element na makukuha natin or outcome, outcomes natin, sorry, sa event A natin? Isa lang naman, 9, di ba? Kasi sinabi 9. And then for letter B, ano-ano yung possible outcomes natin? Dahil sinabing 15 lang, wala namang iba dyan, kundi 15 lang. Di 15 lang din ito. Okay, so obviously, wala silang common. So, we can have yung second formula wherein we just have to add okay, their probability. Okay, so you will have the probability of the union of A and B is equal to the probability of A okay, plus the probability of B. O, ano ba yung probability ng A natin? This is 9, diba? So, isa lang yung element niya. 1 out of 15. So, you will have 1 out of 15 plus the probability of B, 15, isa lang din out of 15. Kasi 15 chips siya. So, 1 over 15. And then, we add it. 1 plus 1 and that is 2 over 15. O, o ganun lang ha. Madali kapag walang intersection. Kasi add-add lang. Now, for letter B, okay, we have here, ang event A natin ay 7 and then number divisible by 3. So, for A, isa lang ang ating pwedeng maging outcome dyan, which is 7. Kasi nga, yun lang naman yung event niya, makakuha ng 7. Sa letter B, medyo marami kasi number that is divisible by 3. Okay, from 1 to 15, ano-ano ba yung mga numbers na divisible by 3? You have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, yan. Ngayon, meron bang common si A and si B? Wala. So, madali lang din ang kukunin natin dyan. You just have to get the probability of the union of A and B which is the probability of A plus the probability of B. Walang intersection ha, kaya add lang sila. So, you will have here, isa lang ito out of 15. So, 1 over 15 plus ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out of 15. O, let's add. Ay, sorry. Paano ko ba enter to? Wait lang ha, para hindi tayo nasa sagabalan. Okay. 
So, we have here 1 plus 5. You will have, pwede nang i-add ha, kasi similar denominator naman sila. 6 over 15. Pero hindi pa yan ang answer. You have to lowest term ha. This is divisible by 3. Kaya magiging 2 over 5. Okay, so the probability of A union B is 2 over 5. Okay. Or simply, mas madali yung ganun na lang. The probability, kung nahihirapan kayo, the probability is 2 over 5. Nice calligraphy. <laughs> Nadali sulat ko, ano? Comment nyo nga. Okay. For number 6, we have even or divisible by 5. Okay. For A, we have all even numbers from 1 to 15, ha? Ito pa rin tayo. So, we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. O, hanggang dyan lang kasi 15 is not even na. And then, divisible by 5. So, we have a 5, 10, 15. Okay, kung i-check ninyo, meron silang intersection, ba? Meron, meron silang common. Ano yun? We have 10 and only 10. Isa lang. Okay, so kukunin natin yung pangalawang formula wherein we have the probability of the union of A and B equals to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B or the intersection of A and B. Okay, o tingnan natin. Ilan ang probability natin sa A? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 out of 15. Okay, plus sa letter B, 1, 2, 3. 3 out of 15. And then sa A, intersection or the intersection of A and B is ilan? Isa lang out of 15. Okay, so 7 plus 3 is 10, minus 1 is 9 out of 15. Or, okay, divisible by 3, will have 3 out of 5. So, ayan na. Mag-therefore na lang kayo dito. Therefore, the probability is 3 over 5. Okay, now for letter D. A number is divisible by 2 or divisible by 4. Kay A ay divisible by 2. Ano-ano ba yung mga number na divisible by 2 from 1 to 15? You have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay? For letter B naman, divisible by 4. So, you have 4, 8, 12. Okay? So, may common ba? Meron, di ba? Yung 4, yung 8, and then yung 12. So, ibig sabihin, may intersection si A at B. At ayon ay si 4, 8, and 12. Okay, now, gagamitin natin yung isang formula wherein the probability of the intersection of A and B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of A and B. Okay, so ilan ba lahat ng A natin? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 6. Ba't kanina? Ano bang ginawa ko dito? Ba't dito 7? Ah, 14. Sorry ha, may 14 pa dito. Kaya ako nagtataka bakit hindi sila match. Okay, so 12, 14. Di kayo nagsasalita dyan, ha? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we have 14. So, ilan lahat sila? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pito lahat sila. So, we have 7 out of 15. Okay, plus, sabi natin, we have 1, 2, 3. 3 out of 15 minus, ilan yung common nila? 4, 8, 12. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo. 3 out of 15. So, mga cancel lang naman to kasi 3 minus 3, wala nang matitira, ba? So, ang answer na lang natin ay 7 over 15. Okay, so, yun lang yun. And now, for number 2, we have here, Darius put uh, puts marbles in a box in which 14 are red, 12 are blue, and 18 are yellow. If Dario, Dario picks uh, one marble at random, what is the probability that he selects a red marble or a blue marble? Okay, red and blue tayo, ha? So, ang A natin, 
yung makaselect siya ng red. Eh, ilan ba yung red? 14 out of 44. Eh, ang B, ilan? We have blue, 12 out of 44. Eto ha, hindi ko na nilist down kasi uh, bilang lang naman. So, dinirect ko na yung probability nila. O, ayan, para hindi kayo malito. Okay, ngayon, what is the probability na uh, sila, o dito yung select niya. So, yun lang, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B na nilagay ko na nga dito which is 14 over 44 plus 12 over 44. So, you will have how many? 14 plus 12 is 26 over 44 or divisible by 3 yan, ba? That will be 13 over 22. Tama? Divisible by 2, 13 to 22. So, therefore, the probability, probability is 13 over 22. Okay, now, for learning task number 2, mahaba ba ito? Kasha ba ng isang video? O sige, Maricar labeled each of the 26 pieces of paper a distinct letter in English alphabet. She put it in a box if she will ask her brother Paulo to randomly pick a piece of paper from the box, what is the probab probability that it is a vowel or a constant? Ha, alam nyo naman ng vowel, ba? That's A, E, I, O, U, which is a 5 out of 26. Okay, and then yung B, yung constant, marami yan, B, C, D, diba? O, ganyan ko na lang. Alam nyo naman lahat yun. And that is... Uh, 26 minus 5, that is 21 over 26, ha? Ito na, binibigay ko na yung probability. Pero sa inyo, kung kailangan nyo ng solution, kailangan isulat lahat ng letters, ha? It will take time kasi pag isinulat ko pa siya lahat. Okay, so ano ngayon yung probability nila? Okay, so you will have here now, wala silang intersection ha, magkaiba si A, magkaiba si B, ibang iba sila, wala silang intersection. So the probability of A union B is just simply adding the probability of A plus the probability of B, which is a 5 over 26 plus 21 over 26. Ayan yun. Okay, so you will have 26 over 26 or... 1. So, therefore, the probability, the probability is 1. Okay, that's it. Now, for number 2, a, cons a consonant or Y. O, oh, kayo ang nang magsulat. Ha, hindi ko na isusulat. Lahat ng consonant isulat nyo for your solution. Ha? Which is A is equal to Ano ano ba yun? B C D F o oh, lahat isulat ha. And then yung letter B natin ay Y. Okay, pero alam natin na yung Y ay consonant din. So matatagpuan din natin siya dito. So magkakaroon ka ngayon ng intersection ni A and B. Okay, which is yung Y nga kasi Y is cons consonant tas binigay pa siya dun sa letter B. Okay, so ang gagamitin nating formula dito is the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of A and B. Okay, ilan ba lahat ng constant? Kasi constant tuloy. Consonant, baka nagkakamali ako kanina ha. Nasanay kasi ako sa mat constant. So, we have consonant. Ilan yun? 25. Ah, 21. Kasi 26 minus 5 yung bowel. So, magiging 21. Okay, plus ilan ang nasa B? Y isa lang. Okay, so 21 out of 25. 1 out of 25 minus ilan yung common nila? Isa yung Y, which is 1 over 25. Makakancel lang to ha, kasi ma-minus mo naman. Ia-add, ma-minus mo din. So, wala namang mangyayari. Kaya, still... 21 over 25. Okay, yan yung ating probability. Therefore, the probability is 21 over 25. Nasanay kasi kung pa-sentence yung final answer, ha? Okay, now, a vowel or A. Okay, tingnan natin, ha? So, for A, we have a vowel, which is A, E, I, 
O U, okay? And then for letter B, we have A, okay? So meron silang intersection, di ba? Which is yung A, okay? So ang probability natin ay, o, tignan natin ha. So the probability uh, of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of A and B. Okay, so you will have here ilan to 5 out of 26 plus 1 out of 26 minus 1 out of 26. O, cancel lang ito. Enter ko lang ito. So, you will have here 5 out of 26. So, the therefore, the probability is 5 over 26. Ha? Hindi ko na isulat. Alam nyo naman na yan. Okay, for number 4, we have here consonant or I. Okay? So, ang consonant natin, letter A, isulat ulit. This is B, C, D, E, F. Oh, no. F, G, lahat. Isulat ha. Ako kasi hindi ko na isusulat ng haba. And then, yung consonant, ah, no, yung letter B naman natin is I. Oh, meron bang pinagkatulad si A at si B? Wala. Kasi ito ay consonant, ito ay vowel. So, wala. They are two different, ah, ano yun, magkaiba sila. Kasi vowel yung isa, consonant sila. Okay, so wala silang intersection, which means the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Okay, ang probability ng A natin ay 21 out of 26. And ups, ups, ups. Wait. Enter. Okay. Wait lang. Okay, so 26. Okay, plus 1 out of 26. So, 21 plus 1, that's 22 out of 26. Or, lowest term, this is 11 over 13. Okay? Ganun lang mga anak ha. O, last na to, number 5. A vowel or M. Okay? So, ang vowel natin ay letter A, which is uh, A, E, I, O, U. Okay? And letter B natin is M. So, wala silang intersection, ha? Okay, which means ang gagamitin nating formula ay yung probability ng A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Sana lahat ganito na lang, no? Andali. So, we have here uh, 5 out of 26 plus 1 out of 26, which is 5 plus 1, you have 6 over 26 or divisible by 2 that is 3 out of 13 ayan na so the probability is 3 out of 13 ngayon mga anak kung natulungan ko kayo sa pagsagot ninyo dyan sa mga module nyo i-comment yan sa, ba sa baba ah. alam nyo naman na mahalaga sa mga videos natin ang comment kaya kahit simpleng thank you lang or smiley or kahit ano basta mag-comment lang kayo okay na okay na sa akin at syempre share nyo na rin naman to sa mga classmates nyo baka naman nababaliw na yung mga yan ha at laging tandaan let's spread the love of math thank you and Bye!